evening everyone, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our first video of the channel, it's great to be back. I'm Liam of course and with me I have Megan today. Hi guys, how's it going? So this evening we are at the Church of All Saints in a village um, located in Norfolk, um, in Keswick. Don't know if you guys have heard of it. Um, it's great if you have, this is one of 124 existing round tower churches um, and the small church that was actually here previously to this um, was demolished in 1598, I do believe, to be used for materials. Um, the original east wall of the chancel still stands, and in 1893, I think it was, um, the short nave that you can just see behind me was added to the tower to make a mortuary chapel. Um, so, yeah. You're the historical girl, this, aren't you? I just I, know my history, mate, to I don't, be honest with I don't you. Know mu I don't know much about this. You, I just brought you along. Um, but I'm yeah. just here for the history. Basically, yeah, I'm just here to look free. But yeah, <laughs> thank you. So yeah, um, ladies and gentlemen, again, boys and girls, if you please like and subscribe to this video, I know we haven't done anything yet, but I really appreciate if you guys carry on watching and like subscribe to this again. And we'll see you guys tonight when it gets dark. Yeah. See you soon. See you later, guys. Okay, guys, so it is dark. As you can see, we've got our coats on, we're ready to go. So we're just gonna crack on and get straight in there, see what we can find for you guys. So, should we do it? Let's do it. Right, guys, before we actually start this video, um, Obviously, we are in a graveyard, and we mean no disrespect whatsoever. Like, yeah, we we're don't not, mean to cause any disrespect, no harm. We're not doing this to take the mick at all. Um, we're just doing this to try find out. We just want if, answers, really, don't we? It's, yeah, you, yeah, I do. You, you do. Do you believe? You believe something? Like that. Oh, of course, I do. Yeah. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. You but just... yeah, I'm here for more for that. But yeah, we don't come here for any other reason. You know, we don't want to cause any harm to anything. So uh, just putting that straight out there. So what I'm going to do guys is just make sure that the gate is actually locked because that is locked, completely locked. So if it goes, we either absolutely crap our pants or no, it's no, paranormal. No, no, you crap your pants, it's just going to be the wind, okay? You're going to crap your pants. Absolutely not. It's not going to be nothing, it's just, it's not. It's just going to be the wind, all right? We'll She's see about right, that. We've been here less than five minutes, and are you already scared? <laughs> no, I'll tell you what it was. Less than five I... minutes, and you're already scared. No, no, you I'll not? tell you what it was. Right, give me that torch. I'll tell you what it was, guys, right? Literally, I was stood over there, and I swear, swear down, I saw a person stood in this field over there. Turns out it was the gravestone. I don't know if you can see that, but it looked like someone was just stood there staring at me, and I absolutely, yeah, all right, I pooed myself. It's been less than five minutes. What, what, what is this going to be this night if you... <laughs> I'll just leave you here and go sit in the car, I think. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, let's crack on, guys. Right, now, um, Megan has gone over in her way with her camera. Um, we both split up. we both got one of these EMF meters. Um, basically, if anything magnet is around, um, this should blink and go mad. Um, we'll flip through the cameras so you can see her view from her. She's the other side of the graveyard and obviously I'm in this side of the graveyard so yeah let's try it now again like I said this uh, little EMF meter should go wild if anything statics around um, the reason it's pitch black because obviously I want you guys to see this more than anything but all around me is just field um, it's a cornfield literally opposite me where I'm pointing but uh, there's literally nothing going on like nothing there's nothing there's no static or whatsoever see we'll get something with this so it should go mad if there's paranormal activity so I'm just gonna walk around I bet you anything Megan is freaking out that she's caught something I bet you anything. Like, look, nothing on mine, not a spike. Okay. Oh. Did you guys see that? I'm sure that just went a bit. Oh my god. If anybody's here, can you send this meter guy? What? Why does it all happen when I'm on my own? If anyone's here, can you set this off? Prove to me. Nothing. What is going on? Right, whoever it is that's here, thank you so much. 
for this. That's amazing. I want to see it go red though. Can you make it go red? Oh, okay. Wowie. Okay. Brock, is this you? Is this the gentleman I called out to earlier? Is this you? Can you make it go red again, please? Okay, so Liam's joined me. We're back where I caught some activity with the little EMF meter that you saw. I've got it with me with this. You remember this? Um, so we're back there. We're now going to try something with this. So what happens is we set this up, we leave it um, in the middle of an area, which is obviously where we where I was, um, and then hopefully it goes off. And if anything's detected moving around it, um, anything paranormal, it will trigger it and it will light up. Should we try it? Okay. It's not going to happen because you're with me. Yeah, I know. That's why the plan is, if it doesn't work when I'm here... I'm going to send him off because I swear it's me. They're like... I'm going to then take it to a different location, well not location, but different area of the graveyard and then I'll try it. Right guys, so we've obviously set it up just there. We're going to move away now so that we're well away. We'll be out of shot, I think, um, just to ensure that we're nowhere near it so it's you guys know physically that it's not us setting it off. Um, and whatever does set it off will then be paranormal. There'll be no other explanation for it because it's open, so let's go. So you can now see that it's gone off. I'm going to call out again. Trooper George Brock, if you are here, can you set off that light for me, please? I want to see you light, light this area up if you can. Use all your energy, use our energy to do so. Can you set the light off that's in the centre there for me? I want you to light, light this area up if you can. Brock, if you are here, or if anybody else is here, if I'm, if anybody else is hearing me at the moment, use our energy, light the area up for me. Is it too bright right now? Do you want us to go complete pitch black? Is that what you want? Okay guys, so I've took the torch away and it's not gone off. So you know if it goes off, it's not going to be us. Brock, if you are here, can you turn that light on for me? Come on. Prove to us. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Can you turn it off again for me? I know I asked for it to come on so much, but can you turn it off again? If this is you... Thank you, darling. Wow, that's amazing. Can you put it back on? Can you turn it back on for me, please? Now, I don't really know if I believe what just happened was real. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to question you, Megan, on this. Mm -hmm. Behind me is the lasers. Now, if something would set this off, you you know you have to go near it right and if you go near these lights you'll see your shadow break up so if i put this in front of that surely you should see the ghost spirit spirit sorry whatever go in front of that dots and then that will go off so that surely would be evidence right but having said that sometimes they wish to communicate but not be shown so who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Because if they wish to communicate with us and set that light off, then they can. But they might not necessarily want to be shown visually. Let's, let's try it though. We'll give it a we'll go. Give it a go and we'll try it. But that's what I think the logic would be. We so shall see. Let's try it. Now, weirdly enough, um, the camera 
Let's just give a second. Camera is uh, playing up like it's not doing anything. It's not calling. It's just gone blank screen. And it's not even gone to record now. Like it's literally playing up. But this has never happened. I've had the camera, and I've had the camera only like two years. But the camera isn't doing anything. It's not going to record. It's just gone to a blank screen. It's completely, completely crushed, isn't it? Now, the scary thing about this is um, it's 73% battery. So it's not like it's run out of battery. It's just playing up. Um, I'm not saying this is anything paranormal, I'm just... It could well just be a technical problem with the camera, but it just seems very... I'm annoyed more than anything. <laughs> we have got another camera, so we will have to flick over now to the new camera. Now, this is actually camera two, and this is, this is my Megan's camera. camera. Um, quite annoyed, but yeah, we're going to now try what I said with the light going off in front. Um, if anything goes near it, you should capture it with the back in there of the dots. So uh, this is my attempt, so let's see if it's attached to Megan or it's just doesn't like me. Let's try it. All right, if anyone's here, uh, can you set the light off, please? If you uh, want me to go, can you set the light off? Do you want Megan to talk to you instead? If you are here and you wish for us to stay, remain in touch with you, in communication with you, whoever you are, please set that light off for us because we don't like the dark, we want to see a bit of light. If you are here, can you use our energy, use your energy, set that light off for us please? Again, Trooper George E. Brock, if that is you, if you are the one I was communicating with earlier, can you please set that light off? And if it was anybody else, please do the same. We're going to use the spirit box now, hopefully get some, one of these lovely regimental soldiers that have been laid to rest here, come through this box and speak to us, so. Or Carcerio. But actually though, actually, I guess you can't really catch a cast area around here because there's just... There's no main road around no. here. There's no... There's no... There's one. Absolutely there's one. Is there? That way, but yeah. Oh, that's... That's well out. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so that's the plan. Um, we'll try to pick up uh, voice voices, if that's what you call it. But yeah, so let's try out, guys. Let's do it. Okay, if anybody's here... Thank you! If anybody... Help! Help! Help. help. Okay, I heard that. What? I don't know what to say to that. Help with what? I've actually gone really emotional. <laughs> I don't know. Did that say help, though? That said help. Like, it's that... I don't know. But this is it, guys. This this is... Turn off a second. Just for a second. Now, it did kind of sound like help. Like... they call for help? But well, that's, a, that's the scariest thing. Like, it's, if it did say help, I don't know if it said help. Um, but... I don't know. Is it real? But we'll carry. We'll this, carry on. About this, this is the great, the, the great war. Yeah, I, I don't know. They were in battle. What do you guys think? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just as soon as it said help, and I, I, I almost like, I don't know if you guys saw. I don't know where the camera was pointing, but I literally just welled with emotion. Then we'll carry on. Like we'll carry on. I don't know. Like, I don't. <laughs> It's a bit, I'm not going to lie, like, I don't, I'm not a strong believer in that, that was a bit creepy. I don't know, that's a bit... I know, but the thing we'll, is... We'll carry on. If we keep stopping, we're going to break a chain, we need to keep this rolling, really. All right, we'll carry on, we'll carry on, we'll do it again, alright, let's carry on, let's go. Right, break the chain. 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 Break the chain.
press it again. I'll ask it a question from help. Okay, if you're still with us and you still wish to communicate through the spirit box, can you come through? If you called out for help and you need help, can you tell us again? Right, for this part of the video, um, I've decided to mix it up a little bit. Um, I've got a coin here. Um, basically, one of us is going to have to go back there for 10 minutes by themselves. Right. I knew you were going to do this. I knew you were going to do something like this. So, you got free, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right. Um, so yeah, heads or tails? Whoever it lands on, obviously, will go in the film. On our own? On your own. For 10 minutes? For 10 minutes. And the other 10 just, whole minutes? 10 whole minutes, and the rest of us will just chill out here. In a graveyard? Yeah, it's fine. Tails? Tails, yeah. All right, obviously, I'll go for heads. Hey, see what I did there, boys? Right, okay, right, ready? That's why I'm single. Right. Right, you said, what'd you say? You said, oh, tails. said tails. Right. Fucking his heads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't Good see luck. it. It's heads, of course it is. Oh my god, thank goodness. Well, that kind of backfired, didn't it? Because it's me that thought the idea and I would go in. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, we're going to set a timer. I don't know what you're worried about, you're sitting in the car. <laughs> Exactly, right. <laughs> on the roadside. So, there it is. Where's yours? Oh, yeah. So We're I don't need to see mine. We just set them at the same time, though, right? Right, ready? So, three, three two, two, one, one. go. All right, time's ticking. I'm going to go. Let's go. I'm going to do this to prove people that nothing like this is real. Right, it must be about three minutes I've been walking for. So, does that kind of count as the ten minutes? Um, it's not cheating, I swear. Uh, I'm gonna carry on filming when I get into the actual place. See you in a minute. Right, here we go. this like five-ish minutes maybe something like that it says five four three so he's been gone what four minutes odd I'm not gonna lie it's scary I, I would have rather gone in there to be honest because sitting here in the dark on my own absolutely cacking it like do you ever watch those horror movies and you think oh my god I'm in the car it's dark someone's gonna come up beside you and tap on the windscreen. That's literally how I feel right now. I'd rather be in there. Now, I've come back to this location where Megan and all the uh, action kind of happened. Um, I've got a candle, and this isn't much because it's a little bit windy, so it might go out, and I know this is easy where debunk is up because of the wind. Um, but I thought, I'm by myself. Megan seems to get everything. I don't. So I thought, come by myself. Let's, let's try it. So uh, I'm going to try and see if anything will talk to me, and we'll try from there. Let's try it. Now, uh, if anyone's here, can you uh, try blow it out? I mean, it is windy after all, but if anyone is here, can you just knock, touch me, do anything to uh, scare me? Let's prove to Megan. Let's prove to Megan. Come on, I'm here by myself. Let's prove to Megan that uh, nothing's there. But I keep hearing like noises, but also that's the wind. But like, I thought I heard like a little tap. But then when you're here by yourself, you start to think more, but... I don't know. If anyone's here, can you again try blow the candle out? Uh, 
three minutes. So you guys can see this. Uh, soon I can go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of bored. <laughs> this is actually. I'm not just trying to sound like the uh, big man trying to act all not scared on camera, um, but there's nothing here. Like, is, I don't know. It's hard to what you think, but. Like, if anything's gonna happen, it will be now, when I'm by myself. Like, the candle, it proves how windy it has been, because if it had been really windy, it would have gone out by now. And it hasn't gone out. Um, so yeah. So here I am again. Basically, he said he'd be gone 10 minutes. Out of that 10 minutes, can you see that? Oh, we've got like, oh, it's not, can it focus? But anyway, it says there's one minute, 13 seconds left before he comes back. And I don't see any sign of him. But then it is dark, so I don't know. It'll be him. What I said before, it's gonna be him creeping up on me in the window. He's absolutely gonna make me poo my pants. 54 seconds. rather be in there. Let's again. If anyone's here, can you please blow the candle out? What was Megan scared of, eh? What was Megan scared of? There you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Climb up. That was easy. Right, so there we go, guys. Um, Interesting. I don't know. I believe so. I'm absolutely shattered. Do you know what? We got some really good stuff though. It's just whether like you guys at home believe it. It's, really it's hard though, isn't it? To like not make, you know, like being fake, you know. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm not really a strong believer. But... I think you guys just have to be there in the moment to believe it yourself. Until you really experience something truly, I don't think you will ever feel I mean, I didn't feel nothing. It's just like, you. It just doesn't like me. I, I think it just... it's because you're the skeptic. Yeah. Whereas just... I'm the I'm the believer. Like I sense things. I pick up on things. They just naturally attach to me. It's just me. It's just you. It's just me. But anyway, guys. Um. So there we go. I hope you liked it. Again, thank you guys for watching. Um. Please like and subscribe again. If you want to see more of this content, hopefully we'll be going to a lot more locations. I do have a lot more in mind. So uh, again, if you liked it, please like and subscribe and we'll see you all soon. Thank you guys for watching. Okay. Go to bed. Okay, I'm so tired. I don't know, we'll go to sleep. <laughs> Bye everyone. Night. <laughs>